Hello, my name is Ali, and welcome to my channel. We are back with Hakuhiki Kyoto Winds, Harada's Route. Let's go. Well, that was fun. Let's do this again when well, we've got a little more time, okay? <laughs> Sorry. Seeing guys isn't really my thing. Both men stepped back, their fight clearly finished. Further fighting serves no purpose. We will do nothing more than attract unwanted attention. What? You talking to me? Come on. I know when to leave a party. The one that doesn't know when to stop is... Shirinui looked towards Kazuma as he spoke. Yes, our suspicions have been confirmed. We've no need to stay. This time, we only came to verify the truths. Do you really believe that we'll simply allow you to walk away? Then call your men. You three may survive, but how many of your soldiers will we slaughter before we escape? Would you spend their lives so easily? Kazuma and his companions were no doubt powerful. His words held arrogance. We knew he spoke truth. They left silently, fading into the darkness, but as he did, Kazuma spoke to me one last time, his red eyes piercing me as they glared. I will return for you. Soon. He was far out of arm's reach, but his words nearly brushed against my cheek, cold and threatening. A shiver ran up my spine. I crumbled to the floor. Whoa, are you alright, Chizuru? I I'm fine. You really suck at lying, you know that? You look really pale. Sit there and rest for a while. If you can't walk, I'll carry you. Thank you. For a while, Hijikata stared deeply and harshly towards the darkness. Kid, you got any idea what they were, why they were after you? <laughs> I hesitated. They had said I was one of them. Kazuma had invited me to go with him. Had he been telling the truth? I didn't know. Um, I'm not sure. There was really nothing more I could say. Word of this incident spread the ranks of the Shinsengumi quickly in another form. I don't... I don't know. That sounds off to me, but... I don't know. I may be just losing my mind. Hey, I heard there was an intruder. So what in the hell were the captains doing? An intruder? I haven't heard anything. Are you sure that information is true? So what? You're saying I'm lying? I didn't say you were lying, but maybe you misunderstood something. If it really happened, I would be the first to know. Since I wasn't in the know, then it must be fake information. <laughs> Is that so? But if it was true, you're going to pay for it. Supposedly, they stormed to Hijikata's room, but he told them the incident of the intruder was a misunderstanding. The only people that were notified of Kazuma's infiltration were only a handful of the captains. So, in the eyes of the public, the infiltration of Nijo Castle didn't happen. Since then, once the rest of the men returned, there was a meeting among the captains. The subject of the meeting was the three men at Nijo Castle, Chikage Kazuma, Kyoju Amagiri, and Kyo Shiranui. They called themselves demons and their previous encounters with the Shinsengumi suggested they were somehow involved with the Satsuma and Choshu. The Satsuma were the most powerful domain in the opposition domain, and the Choshu were publicly expressive of their dissent towards the shogunate. The Choshu were essentially enemies of the court. I don't know how the three men are supposedly affiliated with the domains, but it was abundantly clear they are not to be dealt with carelessly. There was another problem, however. Why had they come for me? They said I was one of them, and knew about my family name and my kadachi. But how? My name is Chizuru Yukimura. I am the daughter of my father and my mother. I am a normal girl, nothing out of the ordinary. But who am I? As we fade away into darkness, and never come back. June, 1865. June 1864. Nailed it. 
The compound was alive with noise and movement. Ah, it's the shirtless moments. I passed several soldiers in the halls, each one of them excited about something. What's going on? This is... This is inconscionable, if that's the right word. I don't know if it is or not. Never in all my... Ito? Is something wrong? Yes, yes. I'd say everything is wrong. Why should I be made to bear my skin in the same room as those... those savages? Ito's explanation was useless. I was completely confused. Um, is there something going on today? Ito did his best to collect himself, shakily adjusting his hair and clothing before he spoke. Someone claiming to be a doctor whom Kondo met on his visit to the Shogun has arrived. He is conducting uh, physical examinations. With a disdainful sniff, he glared pointedly across the hall toward the area he'd just left. The men were getting physical checkups. That much I knew, given my particular situation. I'd been exempted by the captains who also gave me special instructions to stay away. That hairless monster, er, I mean that doctor, he demanded to remove my clothes in front of everyone. When I refused, as any decent man would, he tried to remove them himself by force. And the rest of them just, just stood there. What sort of uncultured savages are they? Savages? seemed a bit strong. At any rate, perhaps I should go see what a physical entailed. I was a doctor's daughter, after all. What's the doctor's name? I believe he called himself Ryojun Matsumoto. What? Wait, Dr. Matsumoto? What's up with that reaction? Do you know him? When I first came to Kyoto, my plan was to find Dr. Matsumoto. My father told me that I could rely on the man if I ever needed anything. Unfortunately, he was away on business when I'd arrived, and after that, I'm going to go watch the physical examinations. <laughs> there was no time to waste. Oh my, so you want to see those savages? What particular taste? Or peculiar. Whoops. Oh well. Is this it? I could hear loud voices from inside. Oh, oh. The scene froze me in place. All right, next. Oh, jeez. At last, my turn. Check this out, doctor. Hmm? Hmm? What do you think? You're looking at the amazing product of years of training. Your body's fine, Chin. I think it's your head that doctor ought to be taking a look at. What's that? You say you want me to beat the daylights out of you? You're fine, Chimpachi Nagakura. Now get. Next. Whoa, hold on there, Doc. You gotta get a good look at this. No, you're quite fine. Healthy as a horse. And I've seen quite enough, thank you. Oh, goodness gracious, everybody. You're holding up the line, Chimpachi. Get moving, okay? I'm just saying, I don't really think you've had time to fully examine. Don't you want to order a slice of this beefcake? I got two meetings, meaty servings on a plate right here. A medical examination is for finding problems, not showing off. Move now. Or now move. <laughs> God, I'm messing up like crazy. It wasn't difficult to see why Ito was desperate to escape. I couldn't imagine him as part of such a display. I'm actually going to let you guys go here. My friend called. She needs help. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye.